Now you see him. Now you don't. Now you see him. Now you don't. So a suit wearing stranger slips in the street. What do you do? You check they're all right if there's anything you can do to help. And you offer to call an ambulance and you buy him a bottle of water. Do everything you can to reach the good deed feed. And then you carry on and see him off feeling snugly smug inside. The blackberry buzzers and the bus was on time, all well and good. But on the same street, someone slumps in a doorway. A thousand yard stare in a warm can of a Rangiboom 8.5. Last week's clothes, rather ironically, what you might call bed hair. And they might mumble, or they might well have conviction. And they ask you for less than you left in the tip jar at Costa. Only this time, you don't stop. Ask if you need some help. And you know that there is something you can do to help, but you carry on. Fucking ignore them. It's their fault, you think, their choice. But 50p costs a whole lot more than acknowledgement as a fellow human being. Let me ask you something. How many times do you see a homeless person with a dog and instinctively feel sorry for the dog? And they say there's a system in place, a system to help the homeless become human again, for these inconvenient scourges on society. But if you take someone who sleeps in a doorway in the rain, or in a barn covered in crawling rats, or who shits himself with no fresh clothes, whose life is a never-ending groundhog day, walking the streets again and again and again, but with nothing to gain except for the next meal, or the next drink, or the next hit of filthy, beautiful heroin. And if they're not spending a life behind bars at Her Majesty's service, they're imprisoned by the psychological trauma of reality. They can't afford the 60 pounds an hour to see a shrink. Christ alive, do you really think that they'd turn back if the system was anything like what it should be? If the system was in place, to meet the needs of a people who need it more than you could even imagine. Because their life is a parallel universe and the system might seem perfectly reasonable within your expectations, keeping meetings at 2pm three weeks on Wednesday. But this is a person who roams the streets 24-7, who's given up hope, given up trying, and the system somehow has given up on them too. If the people who were in place to help have given up, how the fuck do you expect these to even start? When should vulnerability ever meet blindly with disdain? On this jolly game of snakes and ladders, nine months of sacrifice and compliance, one tiny blip and it's back to the start again. Why bother? Some will fail and maybe don't deserve a chance, but for once, let them enter a room as an equal and enjoy those simple words that everybody craves. I matter. <laughs>